Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 29 of We Happy Few. We are now at Dr. Verity's lab. I went there in advance and this is actually my second time being here because I need to record this episode for a second time because I just realized that the video quality was so bad. I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but it really had so many lags. My voice was always constant, but the videos were like stuck for every two minutes. So it was like two minutes, the same picture, and then the next, and it was so horrible to watch. I just had to redo it, and gladly this was um, before doing this mission and before doing this recording session. I, ha I had a break before, so gladly I saved it, so there is not too much that I sh should have to repeat, but yeah. So I'm going to do this for a second time, it won't be so much for a surprise to me, I'll still try it <laughs> to make it look interesting though. I also didn't want to just leave a hole in a story because that's, that's not what I want to do, I want to do a whole game. I thought about uploading the, the bad video and just apologizing for it, but it was so bad, there was nothing to... It was just really, really horrible and nothing to... There was just nothing to it, because there's so much depending on this. I mean, I'm talking a lot during the video, but there's still some visuals missing that I'm talking about, so... It doesn't really make a lot of sense to upload it, because you won't know what's going on. And this was, um... This was exciting! Um, I can tell you, I can at least tell you that this episode will be interesting. Um, maybe I had to split in two episodes, so I'm maybe thinking about maybe I will be able to do all the last Sally episode in this episode, and but we'll see. We will see. So first of all, we're going to Dr. Faraday's house, which is, as I realized before, which looks the same as the one she had in the in. Oh, what was it? Lutzholm? She was living at Lutzholm. So, with this winter garden there. So, the store is jammed. I'm gonna try it anyway. So, does this look familiar to you? Oh dear. Oh, shut it up. I hope she's not gone on holiday. Annie's pretty neat, isn't she? Oh, this again. It was months ago. I was only dancing. Well, she turned you someone's on. Someone's inside, obviously. I was only dancing. You wanted her. Don't get me wrong. Oh, and what I also dancing. wanted to say is, so I, I watching from the stairs. because I don't know James, what caused this bad video quality the last time. I oh, tried Jesus, to um, she put down the graphics me. a little bit, so it wasn't was automatic. And there was a lot of different things to adjust, so and the, so, some of them were on ultra high, so I just chose the overall high. So I hope that this will also make it a little bit better. So okay, and now we're going to. Come on! I know you're in there, James. Roger, it's Sally Boyle. Oh, Sally! What are you doing here, Roger? Roger, it's Sally Boyle. Where's Doctor Faraday? Is she alright? I'm afraid she died. There was an explosion. For fuck's sake, James. It's Sally Boyle. She, she's not here. She, she died. James. She said she died in the explosion. No oh, fuck. She's right upstairs. Roger! <laughs> so yeah, Dr. Faraday apparently lies low in her old house, although I don't really understand why she would come back here if, if the government would see that she isn't that she broke out of her home on Lot's home, wouldn't they first come looking for her here? And I mean those two aren't that trustworthy as it looks. So he's reading. I mean we could pass through here, but I wanna show you the rest of the house because right now it's trap free. So here's one of them. Here's Roger dancing. Although this is not a dancing pole, as we can read. This is a strange bedroom, and I... I didn't realize this before, but there are two chests in here, so I think that this is both of their bedroom. They have to share a bed. Then I wanted to show you this grass spot. 
which disappears and reappears. And that's basically it. Now we can go through here. I'm gonna steal some lockpicks, although I don't want to steal anything from here. Oh, there's something to read. I didn't see that first. But I think that's something we also... Just something that we already know. Faraday. Why? Yeah, I think we know why. So, also, there's this Motelin dispenser lying around, but I don't really think we need it. We're almost out, anyway. Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. You're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. Disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Helped me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. What brings you here? Who do you listen to? I'm sort of embarrassed to admit it, but the make-believes. The early stuff, before Nick sold out, the unicorn song? That's my favourite. I had a rather brilliant formula in my head the last time I had it on. See, I've been trying to make a sort of portal. No matter. I lost the idea when I lost the record. I know where a copy is. I think I could get it for you. Really? I know if I heard that song, I'd remember my idea. That's how my brain works. Could you make me a motor for a Bristol pilot? Boat motor? That sneeze is more complicated than a boat motor. Thought you were here for something difficult. Ah, sure. You bring me the unicorn song and I'll make you a boat motor. The unicorn song? That awful song. I bet the only person in Wellington Wells who hasn't burned their record is Nick himself. I can't believe how many times he made me listen to it. Or at least we were on drugs. He'd never part with it. On the other hand, he's passed out half the time I come by. I'll just sneak in while he's sleeping. Where did I leave the key card he gave me? It's in that suitcase I brought to the Bobbies. Why the hell did I leave it there? Okay, so... yeah. So Sally has to visit Nick Lightbearer again, too. This is also this is like this is really interesting. I, I also it took a long time there, but I, let me tell you, it, I don't have to climb all the house again. <laughs> so I guess I don't have to climb the house again if I enter the police garage, which is also not uh, that big of a deal. So let's go there. Okay. So as you see, this front door is. Um, open at the moment, so it's not shuttered with those metal shutters, but it's still not open. And we have to go in from the back or where the card reader is. So I think I will just hop into the police garage to make it easier. It's actually the same thing where we went, where we went with Arthur. Um, so we know a little bit, although now we can just climb up here for whatever reason oh I just remember. I remember they wanted to carry me around in that car like I was some sort of conquering hero I just wanted to get down on the ground clean forgot there was anything in that goddamn suitcase so also what I forgot is in my last playthrough I um, passed Oh, the old pub where the pirate is and he wanted to see us anyway so he called us up and asked us to retrieve his drinking buddy which is a dog so that was basically the side quest the reward would have been to go through his chests and I already said it in the last episode I, I wouldn't have played it anyway because it just seemed like a retrieve and then loot side quest and I don't know, I'm not really interested in those anymore, and also I think we don't need it anymore as Sally, because we're already, we're almost out. 
So, here's this guy. Um, we still don't have a knockout syringe because I spent all my knockout juice. But we have some bottles to throw and they are actually kind of blind because the last time me, come find you. I was just able to sneak past them there. like this. Hey! What are hey. You doing now? Oh no, you don't see me, it's okay. No. Oh really? That worked better the last time. Oh. Okay, I, I actually didn't intend to do this, but it's working, so why not? It's kind of sad because I was kind of proud that the last time I was just able to sneak past them and he didn't even see me. Was I sneaking? I was sneaking, right? But now we see the inside of a car as well. I think we never hit in a trunk before. So... Now we should be able to leave. And here's Nick's key card. Uh huh. Why do they make dresses with pockets, for Christ's sakes? Okay. No, no. You don't see me. Okay, so this guy's going upstairs, and we're going upstairs too. He should be standing here for a while, so. Oh, no. Yeah, I am. Oh, I'm just gonna sprint through this. I'm just not interested in this right now. So, we have the key card. We're gonna act like nothing happened. And now we're gonna go back to Nick's house. I keep looking at the, at the other screen now and to see if I can see any lags or something. So far it looks okay. I mean, there are occasional, uh, there is lagging occasionally, but there was, it was like that before too. But I hope you can see it through that. So, the letter from Sparky. Text, I came by, but no one was here. I wired up the new security coil, but it hasn't been tested it yet. It should be fine. All you need to do is have someone install the new keypads and mount the coil above the door. I slid Mr. Lightbearer's keycard under his back door as instructed. God, that man can sing. Cheers, Sparky. Okay. So, we have our keycard now, so we can just swipe it. And now, we are in. Ew. Just gonna take something to eat, I'm just gonna take some stew. I guess we would need provisions for our long journey. So I think I'm gonna drink some coffee now. Or did I just scroll past it again? Oh no, I hate this quick access thing. It's just so much more easier to just look for it in the inventory. Uh, I wish they just, I wish they didn't put everything you have in there. It's like if you could choose what kind of stuff you want. I don't know, if you just like, for example, had three slots which you can fill with stuff that you like and then you have those on quick access, it would be so much easier to use and so much faster as well. So, just gonna drink some coffee. Whew. And now... Well, funky as ever. I'm not surprised the May quit. Yeah, I don't think that this is so funky, but okay. Um, so if we just open up this door, will Nick be lying dead in the bathtub again? Also, I was looking for a really long time for this, um, for the unicorn song, and then at some point... Oh wait, I'm just gonna pick the lock first, and we're gonna take a look at Nick. There you go. But he's unconscious, so he isn't dead. Which is something. I thought when we were Arthur, I thought he was dead. Which is what usually happens when you put something electric into water when you're in it. So. It's not down here.
It's probably down in his secret lair. Ah. How do we get down there? He had some sort of secret button, didn't he? So now it says check the next mirror. Which is this one. Mirror me again, Nick. And now there's a button to click. Hmm. There's nothing to do here, but there's some coins. I will definitely need those for later because I will need to buy a lot of stuff. Well, not a lot of stuff, but a little bit. So, I was actually looking for a really long time for next layer until I just saw this one. My secret place, a cha cha for three guitars. And so it's basically right, right, left. It's definitely, it's not such a catchy song, so I don't want to read the lyrics again. It's not that great. So, a cha 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 for three guitars, and those are the three guitars. So, the code is right, right, left. So, I think I'm gonna rotate the, this one right, right, and left. <gasps> yes. So, I think the trick was to now click the button. Yes. Now we go into this spaced out secret hideout of Nick. So like I said, when what I was going to say before when we were downstairs, I thought that maybe the stage would spin around or something and show a, a new entrance or it will take you to a new entrance. So, but this is also really cool. So now we're going to enter Nick's funky safe house. Oh yes. A bit paranoid, aren't we? What's he been taking? So this is Nick's safe house. A lot of statues of himself, funky floor, and laser beams. Where we're going to do like, I don't know. Is it Mission Impossible? Where you? Where there's? Ouch. Okay, <laughs> I screwed that up. Oops, I should get out of the beams, right? Oh no, oh no, oh no, I think I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm not, I'm safe here. Well, um, what I wanted to say is that What I wanted to say was that, um, I don't know, which super, no, not superhero, which secret agent movie was it, where you, where there's so much later, I think it was Mission Impossible, right? So, but now we're able to turn this off, in case we leave. So, there's some pure water, that's already good also good to take this is a nice display of scotch or as I call it money so this is also good I don't need that many empty syringes flowers are nice I don't want to pick this flower though um, I think I want to take this too though I think I not going I'm not going to brew that much anymore okay so I think we're done and now we're taking a unicorn song someone actually likes this record aside from Nick of course so yeah I actually like this a lot. It was so it was so surreal because this is like a huge cellar. This is like bigger than I don't know maybe his whole house. So let's get out of here again. Although this looks, I would like to stay a lot longer. Okay. Okay. So the quality was bad here too when I was playing it. So sorry. Oops. Just fell down the stairs. So we have the unicorn song. I was spending a lot of time looking for that 
flare because I didn't see this. I didn't see the picture before. Fucking a bucket. Whoa, look, lads. It's our lucky day. We don't need to go through this again, do we? Don't you remember what happened last time? I have a very poor memory. Almost as bad as my impulse control. Fact remains, you have been selling unapproved pharmaceuticals in Bobby Catesby's domain. And you ain't paid for that privilege. Alright. Let's dance. Oh, okay. So this is interesting. Because the last time... Keep calm! Because last time the scene was kind of stuck again, like nothing happened and so they were just standing there and didn't even attack me. So now I know what this was about. Oh well Sally, get over that. You're not the only one. You're not the only one who had... who's this... Uh, not posh girl. Sorry. I'm Sally bashing again. So, um, yeah, Dr. Faraday. Okay, back again. And here's your unicorn song, Dr. Faraday. I wonder what this unicorn song sounds like. Have we heard it before? Do you have my record? I have indeed. This is fantastic! I'm finally going to be able to make my portal. Uh, never mind about that. And my motor? Have you made that? And you have earned your boat motor. I won't ask you whose boat or where you're sailing it. I have an entirely different plan. Does it involve portals? Clever lass! Hmm. Remarkably compact for a boat motor. All right. I've got a boat motor and a boat manual. Now all I need is the general's bloody key. He doesn't have it in his office in the camp, or I'd have found it already. If I know him at all, it's in his safe house. Okay. So, what we have to do now is go into the general safe house and we need to buy our bag. But we also, before we can transport Gwen in this bag, we also need to buy the baby feeder first. It took me a long time to realize that. Um, so, I suppose Lionel isn't open still, right? So yeah, I think I'm gonna check up on Gwen first. Although no, maybe not. Let's just go to the let's just go to the safe house right away. So that's it. Okay, but well, I guess before we go in, I'm gonna make a save. Because for reasons, I don't know, if something happens, I just That's the old pumping station where I threw him the masquerade ball. Why don't I just sneak in and abscond with the key? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, but I don't know. I guess you don't really need to know what's... I guess you don't really need to have played it before that you, I don't know, can guess that something weird will happen. Or that not gonna, that, or that it's not going to go according to plan. That should have been a secret agent. Oh, probably. I think you're in a, already in a lot of danger. So. So here we are. Ew. He'll have the boat key in his office. I'm sure of it. Ew. Who keeps a bucket of dead rats? I'm saying this before, and I'm saying it again. Some possessions. Oh. Or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. Um, I think I've had this problem before. I just don't learn from it. So just can, we can drop because this is like worth nothing. Also. Ah, oh, the rolling pin. I don't need that either. This is also worth nothing. So those two are worth quite a bit. Although the lead pipe is not that much. Okay, I think we should be good for now. 
So, in we go for another spy mission, I guess. Christ almighty. He's set for the apocalypse, isn't he? Uh-huh, especially with this weird statue over there. And here we go again with the lasers. I'm going to eat something first. My slice of pie, for instance. Okay. Oh, I could have just... Oh, wait. Oh, well. We're safe here for a while. Ooh! It worked! So, here we are in the middle. This weird statue. So strange. Oh, hello there, rat. What are you doing? So, this doesn't work. And I think this is where we need to go. But we need to climb. We need to take another way there. I'm actually really sorry that I couldn't take the first rerun. I mean, I, it took me a lot longer to figure everything out. But it's still... <laughs> My reactions were more genuine. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sorry. But I really couldn't use this. It was really horrible. And sometimes some advantages to being smaller than everyone else. And sometimes I really don't mind uh, when I don't know. Not being perfectionist if it is for the benefit of laziness, but this is just really... It was unacceptable. <laughs> so, we're gonna drop down here. Although, yeah, we don't really know how we would ever get out of here. So, I think I'm gonna search through here a bit. This is an elephant foot as a waste bin. Which also, nice to notice what a beautiful touch he has put on this establishment. So what's this? Was he a father too? Was being a father too? I knew I didn't realize that before. Wow. Wasn't there a book to read or something? Yes, this one. Duty above all, the memories of General Bing. Chapter 1. Duty will never make one popular. It is its own reward. I first learned this lesson in grammar school when I reported some older boys smoking in the laboratory. The taunts of tattletale that followed this incident did not in any way dissuade me, nor did the monstrous rumor that I had only reported these boys because I owed them pocket money. Even at a young age, I had a keen sense of right and wrong. When these boys later threatened to do me bodily harm, it was my obligation to inform the headmaster and ensure they were expelled. Naturally, this did not make me popular, but I endured the jeers as one does when one has a higher sense of moral purpose than one's peers. So I guess Bing viewed himself from early ages on as someone with higher morals than everyone else. And as someone who was not afraid to make bad decisions or decisions that not everyone would like for the greater good. Okay, so now we're gonna search the desk. Fuck in a bucket. No. Oh. Uh, no. No. <sighs> when I told you to come to my safe house, I meant knock on the door, not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen safe. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Verloc's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? 
Come, look. It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Food for a year? Vitamins, first aid? How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. You can't go. The doctors are scouring the streets. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not going to do that. I think you will. Baby's going to get hungry if you're not there to feed her. You bastard! You are horrible! Vicious coward! Sally, Traitor. do you love her, or do you just love having someone who needs you? Let us stay with us. Here. Please. This is no place for a child. She's just a small thing. I'll make you happy. I promise. You'll come first. I can make you so happy. You're just like when we first met. How dare you! I've just pissed him off. I've got to get out of here. Mm-hmm. Sally! Oh, Sally! You won't be leaving this facility without me! I have the only key card! I've got to take him down somehow. Oh wow! First you're going to first you're telling me that you want to protect me, and now you just want to box me to death. What kind of love is this? This is a really nice lab. Maybe I can use his own magic against him... somehow. I can make morphine. If I throw it in that fountain, it'll steam off morphine gas. And down he goes. You're trying to come up with some clever chemistry, Make me something you? special, won't you, love B? Ugh, creep. I so... You, Sally. Why do you have to be so damn difficult? Who else is gonna give you what I can? Well, you're not giving me what I want either, so... I don't know. I, I think I'm a little bit unsure of what to think of the general, because I don't know if she really loves Sally, or if she just loves what she can do to him in the way of drugs, making him forget and everything. So... But I guess he does like her in a way, but that's just not really... I don't know. She just doesn't like him back. <laughs> so, we're just gonna craft some morpholine. Mixed with water, it creates a knockout gas. Now okay. I just have to turn on the fountain. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put on my gas mask in advance because I'm afraid that we won't have any time as soon as we get out of here. So let's go out again. So I tried fighting him a lot in the beginning until I realized that, I don't know, he just has no sense in fighting him because I wasn't doing so bad but he just... Where is he? Okay, so I'm just gonna take all the power cells now. No. Where is he? Oh, he's not that fast at the moment. So now we have to fill all the power cells. Also, his screaming is so weird. Leave me alone, weird man. I guess I'm just taking all the, I don't know, excitement out of the fight already, but... Oh, I'm dying. Okay, so now it's getting exciting, right? So 
So I'm going to heal up for a sec and hope he doesn't punch me. Yes, right. By now the power cell should be filled up. Okay, and next one. Just going to put in one again. Oops. Are you done? Yes. Uh, next one. Leave me. <laughs> I don't even know where he is at the moment. Oh, there he is. Creepy old man. Leave me alone. Nothing. <laughs> okay, that was it. Oh yes, I am. He's got all my stuff in his office. I better get it back. Okay. So I guess I need to go in here. Because now I have the key card. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now it's time to go out of this. N time to get out of this nasty place. <gasps> I've done terrible things, Sally. I had to do them, but the mob despised me for it. I think I deserve a little consolation in my old age. <laughs> Not your consolation prize. <sighs> so that was it. So yeah, this again showed how much Bing really liked Sally for Sally. Just he just wanted, yeah, her skills. And now we're out. We just locked Bing in his old safe house. We have our. We have the only key card there is, and no one knows where the safe house is. So I, I guess this will take a long time when he till get he gets out. Bed. Sadly, he has a lot of um, provisions for him. So I guess he could live there for a year. He could even patch up his scar that he has over his eye now. So. Now we have to go get Gwen, but we can't do that before we have our baby carrying thing. So, I'm just gonna go home, take a... oh. Lovely day for <gasps> oh. it! Lovely day for it. The neighbors think you've got a downer in your house. <laughs> Not me! If I were any happier, I couldn't walk in these heels. <laughs> That's a joke. They heard someone crying. Love to chat, but I'm expecting Sir Robert any moment. Then you shouldn't have provoked Dr. V like that, after he tried so hard to put you out of his mind. Look, you tell Anton that the general is going to be really fucking pissed off. I don't think he much cares anymore what mood Sir Robert is in. Personally, I'd like to see your customer list. Odd. Something I've not smelled since... That's a baby! Yes! Isn't she adorable? bucket okay think Sally if he doesn't come back they'll send more doctors we can't stay here anymore can we no I've we can't move you someplace safe so first I'm gonna change her diaper amazing what you can get used to Uh, 
Okay. So, um, this is actually something that happens when you don't have anything required to leave right away. So, Gwen will always need something, like a new diaper, or I don't know, I guess in some other cases it was food. But with me, it was always diapers, and I thought that it just was that you just had to um, stop this first. So, do more diapers and everything before getting to do anything else before you're able to go get Gwen, but it's not the case, so you definitely first need the baby feeder and then the bag and then you can pick her up, but I think it's too late at the moment for that, so I think I need to go to sleep. And in the morning we're gonna get Lionel. So this doctor visit was very scary too. These faces are just so weird. I, at first I thought that... I know I said that all the bobbies and the doctors are, scared, are scaring me because of the masks. But the general was scary too and he didn't wear a mask. So I guess everyone's just scary here. Yes, I get you, Gwen. Also, I don't know if you hear it as well. But I just hear it very much. There's some weird noises in the headphones too like some nicking some i don't know popping in my ear or something i don't don't remember being <laughs> being like that before although it probably gets better when i talk over it but still it's a little bit annoying so i don't know if this is a game or if it's the headphones I think we'll have enough stuff to sell right now, so that we could should be able to buy, afford the baby feeder. Also, I bought the perk. I bought some perks during transitions, I guess. So we should have better prices at the dealers now, and we are also harder to spot. Hello there. Hey, come on. Really? Have you got yes. my chemical bag? Yeah! Yes! Yes, I have! Mind if I look around? Okay. So, we can buy the carrying bag now, and I was afraid that this would cost so much more, but it costs 25 pounds, so what a steal. And now we're going to sell some stuff to afford our baby feeder. Like those three helmets, they're quite they're worth quite a lot, and I don't remember getting them. And the axe. And the pipe. And we're already done, so we can already buy our baby feeder. And we can go off. Oh, yep. There you go. Hope your bird likes it. Flowers. Lionel, flowers. There you go. Careful with your uh, chemicals. What? That you're carrying. In the back. Yes, of course. I'll be super careful. Indeed. So. So, we got this. Also, there are some journal entries that we need to read. Well, that was one of my more spectacular breakups. My god, I thought there was no one worse than Anton. They really mean it when they call us birds. He wanted me in a goddamn cage. And Gwen, oh god, I'd have lost her. I've never understood people who keep birds in cages. Birds are meant to fly, for fuck's sake. How do you love a creature and put it in a cage? Anton thought I was his bird, but there wasn't a cage at least. I suppose because he was always a little afraid of me. He wasn't a good enough chemist to tell if I gave him the wrong formula and everyone would have blamed him. Like they do now and I never even sabotaged him. What is wrong with men? They can go for weeks seeming entirely like human beings and then the monster comes out of the bag. There's no reasoning with it. You aren't even speaking the same language. And you say to yourself, all right, yes, well, sure, the monster does come out now and then, but if I say exactly the right thing, I can get it back to go to sleep. 
Or at least I only spilled a little blood. It didn't actually tear off an ear or an arm or something. And it says sorry for biting so hard and it has such pretty blue eyes. The only one who never did that was Arthur. I've got to stop thinking about him. Fuckity fuckity, I'll never see him again. Fuck. Well, Robert's got a year's worth of supplies and a bloody fountain to drink from. He's lucky I didn't bloody slit his throat. He was right. I never have been this alone. I mean, I always have, but I never have. Amazing what you can do when it's the end of the world. Well, yeah, I guess you're probably right, but not all the men are like this. Like you said, it's Arthur who isn't like this, but... An unwelcome guest. I know, I know, I know, but what else could I have done? Why can't she stay quiet, even just a little? But we knew this day would come, didn't we? Just wish it was later. Should have done it sooner. It's hard to give up a comfy house. Where are we going to go? How am I going to get her there? Well, luckily we have the answer for that. He's still lying here. Well, sorry about that. But this drug works really long. So, we're gonna install the baby feeder. Uh, okay, I think we have one more roll of duct tape, so I guess we can change your diaper one more time. Oh god. Do you need to change again? Yes, indeed. You used to be able to go longer without a change. So that's it. And now we're going to sleep again until night time. Because there's not really much to do anymore. Okay, so we can transport Gwen now. You and Gwen can finally escape to the mainland. Are you ready? Once you pick her up, you're done with any other adventures in Wellington Wells. And until you get her to the boathouse, you won't be able to fight or even throw things. Yeah, we, we will be able to do that. It's gonna be dark in here, darling. But when you come out... You'll be as safe as you can be. You're going to be as quiet as a mouse, aren't you? Because you don't want Mummy and you to be torn to tiny little pieces. Just go to sleep for a little while. Alright? Now all we have to do is travel safely across the entire city and not upset any doctors or any townsfolk carrying torches or pitchforks. No plague victims. Oh, the stories you'll have when you grow up. So this whole feeding device really is like a real hand, like a hamster bottle. Okay. So. Gladly, we accessed the boathouse. Hatch before. So this is where we're gonna go now. So this is it, this is the last stretch to getting out of Wellington oh Wells for Sally. My feet are killing me. Well deal with it. Okay. So here we are. Uh, we need to go this way. How is he seeing me? Where are you going? Will you turn around again? Thank you. Oh well, I guess he will see me if I just transition there. No. Yes, very good. So I'm just gonna sneak very quietly past them. They don't have the best eyesight anyway, so 
Okay, they turn back there too. Oh wow, there are two there's two of them standing here. But yeah. So in my first try Oh really? In my first try they didn't see me. I could in my first try I could just sneak past them. So maybe I just stood there for too long. You should just turn around again. Come on. Turn back. I can't throw anything. Attention all personnel. If anyone finds Private Elston's compass, please return it at once. He's not the man who wakes you up in the morning. He is a Come on, move. Plan. Turn back. Ugh, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> well, it worked, so... Okay. So you should... Be Will they... Do they turn back again? Yes. Where is he going? Where is he going? Oh, okay. Ooh, that was close. So... Next. Okay, we're halfway there. So I don't really have any idea where we're going right now. But... We're at the distillery again. And... No one has seen us so far. Isn't that a dead end back there? Oh, it's a dead end. Oh no. Can I? Wait. Where are we right now? Okay, we need to turn right. Can I climb this? I suppose I can't. Oh no, <laughs> that was was a bad idea. God, Whew. Whew. Oh no. Okay, he just can't see me. Okay. <gasps> oh no. Okay, okay, I'm leaving! Uh, I was able to put this off more uh, quiet in my first run through, but also I lost track and I ended up on the other side. But still, I managed to get back unnoticed. No one's here. Thank God. Let's get out of here, shall we, Gwen? So, let's go. That's too bad there used to be a memory here so they disappear after the first time okay well I guess I just need to maybe I'm gonna put maybe I'm gonna cut it out of the last video and show it to you it's almost over I don't remember what it was about so now we're gonna need the motor Let's just lower this into the water. Yes. And that's it. That was Sally's voyage. We're getting out. We're really getting out. Yes.
Oh. They won't anymore, will they? Make as much noise as you like. Maybe I'm not such a rubbish mum after all. You'll never know how alone someone can be. You have me. I'll have you. I guess I'm happy, would you? We're gonna have such adventures. We'll be the two musketeers. I don't know who you're trying to fool, Mum. Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl. So, that's it. That was Sally's act and now to on to act three, Ollie. Okay. I wonder what will happen with him. I mean, he seemed a little bit crazy when we met him with Arthur, but let's see. Let's see what his history will be, what his story will be, not his story. Well, so Sally's act ended and I'm a little bit... Mm, split about it so I guess oh wait something's happening ah okay it's just so I don't know um Sally's act had its strength like her whole um story with Verloc and this crazy relationship with General Bing but like gathering stuff in the beginning and not having the ingredients to do the chemicals and all that, I don't know. I We wouldn't have been able to buy the stuff at Lionel's anyway, so... There were times um, when you just didn't have the resources that you needed, and I think this lack of resources and this long time trying to find it, because if you need it, you, it's hard to find, but when you don't, it's there's plenty of it, as we saw. <laughs> It's the, I don't know, the common phenomenon, but it still, it took a lot out of um, the flow. It really, it was, it really was depressing and frustrating that to, to waste your time on finding some stupid ingredients like duct tape for now, just, although I realized later that I wouldn't even have had to do that, but still, uh, it's so... No, it, it still, it took a lot of the flow out of the story, so it, I really, I was on edge when we um, knocked out that doctor and in the end of the last episode and it was, like, the quest was, okay, it's time to get out Gwen and we already had the bag and suddenly there were, like, three changes of, of, of diapers necessary, although they weren't necessary, but the game still told you to, so the first thing that I was thinking is maybe I need to stop this and maybe after the last, after the, after the second diaper it will stop and we can take her, when actually the secret was to buy the baby feeder that we didn't know that we needed because we already thought, hey, we have the bag, so... I don't, I don't know. Why would we need the baby feeder now? Which there's, there's something in the bag already. We're leaving anyway. But that was the answer to it. So, I don't know. That really uh, ticked me off too because I was really running around a lot just looking for some stupid duct tape. When that, that really, I don't know. That would have been an 
infinite quest line when it would or when it would never go away so I really had to check the internet to find out what really um, went on so I kind of had a hunch that maybe it was we need to buy the feeding bottle first but um, then I thought yeah well but maybe maybe we'll also need duct tape so I'll go and look for some duct tape first and then I went to the garden district and then I looked in the internet and then I went back again to install the baby bottle and all that and that was it so but some time has passed where I was really distressed about just finding some stupid duct tape and that took a lot of the that took a lot of that took a lot of the excitement out of the storyline because the excitement was replaced by annoyance that you now have to look for some, some stupid crafting material first so you can't leave because if you think about it I mean this was just a lot of stress for Sally because she needed to get out fast because there was an unconscious doctor lying in her apartment and she needed to leave so it kind of doesn't make really any sense that she just now goes and goes breaking into houses and to find some stupid duct tape so she could make another diaper for her child before she flees the island i think that the, that the priority would have that the priority was wrong there but so it took a lot of I don't know, motion or something out of the story, and yeah. About the Arthur conversations, I guess I <laughs> made it clear how I felt about that. After that, I was kind of worried that maybe this would come, I would come to regret this, that I was angered by that so much that there would be some reason for it in the end, but I maybe there's not, maybe there is, I don't know. Either way, so. I think there's enough talking about Sally, she made it out, I'm happy about that. Still not her hugest fan, but she had a complicated story too, and so that was Sally's act. And now we're going to get to know Ollie a little bit better, because we don't know that much about him, do we? Because we just met him with Arthur once, and nothing else. So, let's dive right into it.